All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So it is the very last day of April, which means it's the very last day of New York season, New York's uh, tog season, uh, April 30th. So I know this video isn't making it to the internet before the end of tog season, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. I've never really done a lot of spring togging in my adulthood. Um, we're gonna hit a few spots where I know they can be. Unfortunately, I don't have crabs, so I'm gonna have to work with sandworms and shrimp, uh, but we're gonna try and make it work. I don't know if I'm gonna keep anything today. If I do, I'll make sure to show you my camera to keep me honest, but if the tog don't work, we're going to check out and see if we can get on some stripers. So one way or another, if you're watching this, something's gonna happen as always, I like to say. So stay tuned, because you know what we're about to do. Get some fishing accomplished. All right, so as you know, I have no crabs, but it is dead, deader than dead low tide right now. So one of the good things about pollution is uh, bottles around and we're actually finding some crabs, surprisingly, not a lot, but any crab I get is more than I came here with. So these are Asians, let's see if we can get like maybe a dozen of them and then we'll have a full arsenal to take on these tog. Not a lot of crabs. Uh, no, not even worth it. You'll do. There we go. Get a few more of these and we're ready to start. Should have worn my gloves, but whatever. Bet there'll be a ton under this. Okay, okay, so the tide is lower than low right now which is a good thing because we were able to dig up some Asian crabs. I wasn't planning on that, uh, but tied super low. They're not super abundant. They were fairly sparse, but I was able to get at least a good dozen or dozen and a half of them. So we've got Asian crabs, sandworms, and shrimp. Hopefully between those three things, when we go for tog, that'll put something together. But right now, let's just do a little cruise and see if there's any bass around. So obviously I dug up those crabs, uh, probably spent the first 30 minutes of me after getting set up finding those crabs, which certainly wasn't a bad idea because I didn't have crabs going into tog fishing. The potential problem was is that that was the first 30 minutes of daylight and I probably would have been better suited just getting in the water immediately and just giving everything I got for striped bass. I did end up going for striped bass as soon as I got in the water, but that was after sunrise. And if the bite is at all slow, um, it probably would have been better suited that I spent that time just giving it everything I had for striped bass. So I probably gave stripers a good 45 minutes to 60 minutes as soon as I got in the water and it wasn't happening. So I figured, well, we got one day of tog fishing, so let's put a lot of time into that. So that's what I did. Let's see how that went. Well, we gave stripers an honest effort. Not super long, but it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So we're gonna see if we can get some tog. As I think I said before, I don't do a ton of spring togging. So it's a one and done type of deal today. We get them or we don't. So no harm done if we don't. And if we do, it'll just be a nice little bonus uh, to get us amped up about the fall. But we're gonna start with the Asian crabs we collected. Oh, there's a nice mark. Um, and see what we can encounter. Who knows, maybe we'll get some stripers this way. My tide is dead low and current is ripping, so let's see what we can do with tog with Asian crabs to start. I might do some combinations depending on how things go, but let's see if we still got it. Let's see if there's anything even here. <laughs> So when I say this bite was slow, I mean it was slow. Um, I did say that the current was ripping, but if you went to certain parts of the structure, it was a bit more sheltered. And I could not find the fish well or thick. It probably took me a good hour before I got anything even remotely close to a bite. And I was second guessing myself whether or not that was a bite. I didn't anchor because of the current. I just get a little sketched out in places like this, anchoring up and then you know, the current rushing through or a big wake from a big boat. Um, but I really did not have a lot of action. I tried just the Asian crabs by themselves. I tried sandworms on the crabs and nothing was doing anything. Ultimately, what I ended up doing was taking the Asian crabs, the larger ones, and cutting them in half so they'd expose the meat, expose the insides, 
and then putting sandworms on top of that. And eventually I did get a bite um, and I didn't get it. Additionally, I was leaving the camera off for some reason. I just thought it was so slow, it was practically hopeless. I was almost getting ready to just call it quits right then and there. And then a miracle happened uh, and here's how it ended. Missed that hook set, we got him. Good fish, good fish. Definitely a tog, definitely a tog. Oh yeah, not a big one, but heck, beats the skunk. Chunky little guy, or girl. <laughs> On the Asian crab worm combo. All right. All right, sorry we missed that hook set. Uh, been leaving the camera off because it's been slow. But that's definitely a confidence boost. That's my second bite that I've had. The first time I wasn't sure. I was like, maybe I was dragging bottom. But that was definitely a fish, obviously. Uh, it was on a worm. And I took the Asian crabs and I cut them up just to get some of that, uh, you know, those crab <laughs> aromas flowing through the water. And he went for it. So we'll keep that going. At this rate, we're not going to be flying through our bait. And while we're here, we might as well crack open our seltzer of the day in celebration. So we have a blueberry lemonade of the polar variety seltzerine, I should say. Oh, that's a delight. Very tasty. All right, let's see if we can get another fish. All right, let's see if we can get a second fish. It's a slow bite, but it's a bite. If we can get one, we can get more. Making the rounds. Very lethargic fish, very sporadic, spread out bite. But if we got one, we can get another, hopefully. Okay, this spot's not really doing it, so we're gonna make a move, and while we do, we're just gonna troll this Elias Shad probably in like 10 to 20 feet of water. And we're gonna go someplace completely different that we've actually never fished before, but see if there's any fish around. Hopefully that worked. We're on, good fish too. Good fish. Let's keep them on. Good fish. Can't get a hook set today, but at least we can get a fish. Thought I was snagged for a sec. Feels good. First fish on this reel too. Oh yeah. Is it a bass? Oh wow, good fish. Good fish. That's biggest of the year easy. Let's land them. 15 pounder at least. Easy does it, buddy. Easy does it. Oh baby. Oh baby. Of course the GoPro cut out, but at least we're it will sneak this back in. It's at least a 33, 34 inch fish. We'll get a better idea when we get him up to the boat. Fortunately, it's hooked pretty good. Closer to 20. 15, 20 pounder easy. He's not 
hook that good. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> that wasn't all a loss. It wasn't all lost today. <laughs> Easy 20 pounder, maybe, if I had to guess. <laughs> Let's see if we actually can measure this fish today. Oof. Let's see what we got. Do we have a tape measure? We do. We finally can measure a fish. I'm guessing like 36 ish. Probably shouldn't leave the grips in, but whatever. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, about 36 the bent. 36 inch or so in the neighborhood of 20 pounds. Not my biggest, but definitely biggest ever, but biggest of the year. 20 pound fish. Whew. There it goes. Excellent. Yeah, we were en route to another t potential tog spot, but I figured why not throw the shad in the water in? Thank goodness we did because that <laughs> might be the highlight of the day if nothing else happens. But let's keep going. You know, I have hope that this day is not over. Clearly that fish wasn't alone. I was marking fish, so that's why I kind of slowed down for a little bit. But let's keep moving around and see if we can find something else with fish in that, like that in the water. All right, can't believe that worked. Let's see if we can get another. That was fun. And we're definitely getting on top of some rocks now, so maybe we can get on some tog too. That would be fun too. Or better yet, maybe we can cast up some stripers. Any of those options would be great. Let's try casting this uh, Elias Shad. There's definitely stripers around. And if that's what it's going to be today, then that's what it's going to be. bunch of fish right under the boat right now. Come on. Definitely had a couple fish just swing by, so let's take a few casts here. So obviously after getting that fish, I tried to see if I can replicate the same kind of success. I tried trolling, I tried casting, I was marking fish every so often. But by this point of the day, it was almost 10 o'clock in the morning, so the best bite was obviously behind us. So this is one of the reasons why, in hindsight, I probably should have not even bothered with those crabs and just gotten right in the water and tried to put a striped bass bite together. Obviously, if I knew what I know now, I would have done things differently, but I could not get another striper to hit, either on the troll or on the cast on this particular day. So it is what it is. Okay, we're going to give the tog bite one last go. And if this does not pan out, we're pretty much done. Um, yeah, I, I didn't sleep well last, la last night, so I don't really see the point of dragging this thing out if it's not going to happen. But we're happy we got at least something. So we're just going to fish a sandworm and some halves of Asian crabs. I cut them in half because this way I feel like the the innards of the crab are a bit more enticing to the, the tog. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, but I do have some hope. The tide is much higher now. The water looks a little cleaner too. Uh, might have even turned so it's outgoing. I don't know. Uh, so maybe, just maybe the fish will be on now. Because I'm sure they're around. It's just they're not very active. So let's see what we can do. All right, let's see if we can get a fish on camera with a hook set. That's a bite. That was a bite. Took all my crab. Let's get it back down there. We just had a bite. Let's get it right back down and see if we can get a hook set on camera today for our one day only tog session. That's a bite. 
I think. That might be a little bit of a bite. Can't tell yet. That's a bite. That's a bite. That's a bite. Come on, take it. Take it. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Come on. Got him. <sighs> Finally. What do we get? It doesn't feel huge, but that's what I'm talking about. We'll take it. Not to keep, but to catch. Give him a year, he'll be big enough. Oh, cool colors. It's like a 14 incher probably. This one's a male. Okay, we just got our first hook set on camera today, so that's a plus, assuming we got it. Let's see if there's a couple more fish here, because that's the second bite we've had over in this area in a little while. Let's see if we can build a bite up. Where there's one, there should be more. Oh, that's not what we want. That's no good. Must have landed right on the bottom. Okay, so that's gonna do it for another session. Uh, not the most exciting trip in many ways. I probably edited it so it looked a lot better than it was because really it was three bites that made the trip, plus a couple misses. Um, but otherwise, you know, like this is the only blackfish session I have until probably the fall, unless I decide to go traveling somewhere. So overall, not too bad. And that striper really made the trip. If we didn't get that, I probably wouldn't even make this video or be like a short or something. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Fluke is just around the corner. Hoping the next video that you see is Fluke or it's coming up soon. And hopefully it's good too with some keepers. So stay tuned because uh, there's more stuff in the way. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you if you have. Catch in the water next time and goodbye from Michigan.